Hello, Southern Christian Fellowship. It's great to be able to share with you again today. And I just want to, I just want to celebrate some of the good news stories that we've heard this week. If you're part of the His Kingdom Come WhatsApp, every day there is story after story of God's goodness, God's kindness, God's generosity, and we have just experienced His favour and the favour and generosity of 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 man as well um, over the last week, ten days or so, and we've heard stories of of people having COVID-19, of being on ventilators in hospital, being healed, being restored to health, being released from hospital, being home with family and friends. We've heard stories of God's provision, um, financial provision, provision of food to people. We just want to give thanks to Waitrose particularly, who, who we've been able to partner with over the last week and who have given us and Isaiah some, some food parcels to give out to those in self-isolation or those at high risk. And we just want to say thank you to Waitrose and thank you to God for everyone we've been able to bless with a food parcel this week. We just want to, we want to celebrate every one of you who's taken an opportunity to get to know your neighbours, to offer, to support, to serve, to bless your neighbours, your family, your friends. And we want to encourage you in these days just to keep being generous, to keep keep your love on, keep looking for opportunities to to, to show and demonstrate the love and the power of, of Jesus. I just want to share with you today some, some, some scripture reference that I've just been meditating on and it's from Ephesians chapter 5 and it says this in verse 15. Be careful then how you live. Do not be unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity. And there are so many opportunities around for us and I just want to encourage you to partner with Jesus and be wise in how you engage with your family, your friends, your neighbours, your community in these days. But let's be those that are bold, let's be those that are courageous, let's be those that are generous and take hold of the opportunities that God is giving us and let's learn how to love well in this season. It goes on to say, do not get drunk with wine, but to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I just want to encourage each one of us, you know, the Holy Spirit is so kind to us, so generous to us and let's take time. Let's take time to allow him to fill us and make sure that we are continually being filled by his spirit. These are times that are difficult and and sometimes challenging. And yet there is a grace and a power that comes on us when we allow ourselves to be filled to the point in which we're overflown with the Holy Spirit. And my encouragement to you is just to take time out. Take time out today. Take time out on a daily basis and just allow yourself to be topped up and filled afresh with the Holy Spirit. It goes on in verse 19 to say, Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. And I just want to encourage you, SCF is a place where worship's really important to us, and, and a number of us are struggling because we are, don't have the opportunity to meet together, to worship together, to, to experience God in that corporate setting. But I want to, I want to say to you, this is a season for worship. This is a season for psalms. This is a season for hymns. This is a season for music to flow from your heart. And you may not have all the musical instruments and all the band to help you worship, but actually worship flows from the heart. And in this season, let's make worship a key. We have an amazing God who is worthy of our worship. And let's make this season a season where we really allow the worship of our heart, the music, the songs of our heart to, to flow and to reach him. And, and let's, let's be overflowing in worship. We have an amazing God. And let your heart today just overflow with worship to him. Verse 20 says, Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have so much to be thankful. I've mentioned earlier a couple of the good news stories. There are so many. Our Facebook page is full of other good news stories. Our, our, our daily updates are full of good news stories. The His Kingdom Come WhatsApp group is full of good news stories. We have so much to be thankful for. And let this, this season be marked by the worship that flows from your heart to the one who deserves it all. God bless you. Keep safe. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.